All right. So the BET Awards 2024 went down last night, hosted by Taraji P. Henson. Um, Megan Thee Stallion opened up the show. The hot girl captain hit the stage. Um, she looked great. But some of the big moments that happened during the BET Awards was, well, you know, we talked about it. Will Smith made a return to music with a new single called You Can Make It, which mm. featured Kirk Franklin. Yeah. Big Kirk. Big Kirk Franklin energy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, yeah. it was. I listen. It was. That was a gospel song. It wasn't a gospel song. It was a, a rap song with gospel singing on the chorus. It was. A, it was an Eminem gospel song. Definitely Eminem flow. Yeah. I did Eminem gospel song. Yeah. I didn't. I saw a piece of it, but it. He was surrounded by fire and like red, and so it's ironic that you're saying he was talking about. God. Well, he was no, because Shauna, the fire was him fighting through the fire. Yes, yes. It yes. was about through the fire, like he was in when <laughs> yeah, you're in true. when you're yeah. in the fire. Is that, but like here's true. my one. You know, like listen, we we've been on a Will Smith high on this show ever since he right. did our show, and I and I love Will. I supported the movie. He was wonderful, and on this show, we all were sort of empathetic when he went through the whole slap experience, because after everyone felt bad for Chris. The way that people beat up Will just got to be, like, really OD, right? But then when I saw this song and I realized this is where his brand is going, I was like, I don't know if going full on, I've been through a lot. Have been delivered? Is the path. Because it starts to go from, like, you know, you go from, you know what, I kind of do feel bad for Will. And, like, people thinking that's novel because at first they felt bad for Chris Rock. To now you being like, yo, I've been through it. It it, it kind of starts to look a little bit like self-involved. Like, yeah, bro, you put yourself through it. And <laughs> we're all giving you grace. You know what I mean? So I mean, I, I didn't. I don't I, know. I, I see what you're saying. I didn't feel that way. I just don't know if we need to know Will Smith music, you know? Oh, oh, well, oh yeah, I mean, there's that. There's that. But, 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 but uh, like. He definitely made that, like, the music is clearly going to be about his redemption. That's what it was. I mean, it's kind of what it was. If you want. It was very clear, like, the way he's talking. It's all like, I've been through the worst. You can get through the worst. You know what I mean? And yeah, too. Right. It's, it's right, a nice right, right. message. It's a nice message, but, like, didn't feel uh, genuine or the right no, timing? No, no, it's or? genuine. It's just a song. A, it's a Will Smith song in 2024, okay? Yeah, like, like Laura's saying. Like, let's just... Keep it a buck. Right. It was Will Smith in 2024 rapping. Right. And so, then, you know, and I then, still love Will Smith though. So we still love you. I, mean, I, I, I worked over my 50 bucks at the movie. I got, I got, I got snacks yes. too. It might have been 85 dollars. <laughs> so well, there's love there. But right. yeah, it was a mixed bag. Okay, but another big moment was Usher. You know, Usher was honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award, and he brought up uh, Babyface, L.A. Reid, Jimmy Jam, and Terry Lewis. Dope. And uh, his the he had quite the tribute. Uh, let me see: Chloe Bailey, Childish Gambino, Kiki Palmer, Coco Jones, Tinashe, Lotto all hit the stage and did a you know a medley of his hits though. So I don't know if you guys got a chance to check that out, but. Um, they killed it, and also Victoria Monet and Tiana Taylor. Whoa, what a yeah, moment! That's the piece I what saw. What a moment! That looked amazing. <laughs> yeah, that was. Um, yeah. Shout out to Usher for getting his flowers. He he was mentioned throughout the night as well. Mm -hmm. He was sort of the star of the show, you know. I mean, he was. He also took uh, home the trophy for best male R and B pop artist. The yes. only thing that was uh, that's uh, listen, uh, they didn't air. Most of his speech, and there was a lot of muting. Obviously, he was cursing, and you can't have that on live TV, right? So, I'm right now. I'm like searching to see him, like as somebody who posted a clip of the actual speech, right? Because he seemed very emotional and very uh, appreciative. So, but other than that, a big moment for Killer Mike, guys. His album Michael ended up winning Album of the Year. Mm. Yo, Fine. Killer Mike gave an awesome speech, man. Uh, talking about being back in that building after being escorted out in handcuffs yeah, and how yeah, BET yeah. got him back in the building and black people got him back in the building and he was a representation of the people, whether you know my album or not. It was a it was dope. dope speech. Shouts to Killer Mike. Uh, other notes from the BET Awards. Mm. Uh, I will say, I, guys, I think the next time Megan, next time we see Megan, she might just walk out on stage all nude. Like she, Megan she is at naked. a point... She was, she was, every time you see Megan right now, 
she you can just tell one thing. She loves how she looks, and she's mm-hmm. going to keep rocking it until the wheels fall off. She is on it. <laughs> um, she was out there dancing with very little on a couple of times, um, but her performances were quite good, including her coming out with Glorilla, which is a lot of fun. Also, it struck me like I like Glorilla, man. Glorilla like actually doesn't look like every other person and isn't like all the way naked when she performs and clapping her cheeks for four minutes every single time. <laughs> and that she's is, fun and she's good and she sounds good. Yeah, I love Glorilla. No, Glow's got a good. She, there's, there's a good energy there. Also, um, add BET to the list of uh, Cast One's list of uh, things Drake hates. Please write down <laughs> B-E-T. They just made the list this weekend? Yep. Yeah. They, decide, they decided to open the entire BET Awards with a really, all due respect, because Taraji was great throughout the night, a really awkward, bad, hard to understand, not like us rendition with Tar- sh- Taraji dressed up as Kendrick. Shawnee had to, because I, I saw it, and I was kind of doing things, so I let it play, but Shawnee had to break it down to me that she changed the lyrics to to advocate for equal pay for women. Yeah. Oh, so, I, thought it was I just, didn't even know that until today. I thought it was just shouting out the BET Awards. Like, Now, she was talking about the plight of women actresses. We have it. We have, I play a Is it audible? Can you understand it well? Because our CD was hard. Let's who, see. Let's who see. was it that did it again? Taraji. 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 Add it to the list. Yeah, yeah, it has to. Listen to the words. Taraji on the beat, yo, T-Bo, N-E-X, Black Tree, and T, yo, feel down, part of Everland, stick it down low, mediocre films in the pan, like me, so what the fuck is the road? And I try to take women. This ain't oh. even hating on us to stop a kid. How many of we got to still to stay with? I'm finna pass on the script because it's not given. Don't even get me started on that shit. Sometimes you gotta pop out, show number, certified movie star, and I might recover so hard to give me the script. I make it sing like S1 to pay me what I want, cause I always bring a thunder. Say, Mike, this is my year three. It's not about two of me, it's about All right, right Shawty, thank you. I appreciate you pointing right, you out. You get the point. You get the I appreciate point. you pointing out that the lyrics were about that because you, you could not understand it. Yeah. But part of the problem with the bit was. It was very Kendrick. Well, she, she, wore, a gr- she wore a grill. And then afterwards, she was like, let me take out the girl so I can talk. And I thought, you should have done that before you wrapped the song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that. And I was like, and Kendrick doesn't even have a girl, so why did we wear... Anyways, Taraji was generally great, though, throughout the night. She did some. She did a lot of speeches about voting. Um, so, oh, also add Kamala Harris to the list. Um, oh. Sta- uh, 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 Cas one, please. for that Drake hates. Yes, yes. Uh. Definitely. What did she do? <laughs> uh, she did a, there was a Biden sort of commercial built into the show. Yeah. It was like a skit with Taraji and Biden, uh, and Kamala. And Kamala, t- yeah. Talking about Biden and, but- and the election. And she referenced Not Like Us. Kamala did it at least once, I think twice. Uh. She said, they're not oh, like great. us. And she said, sometimes you got to pop out. Oh, all it, t- all it takes is one. She's on the list. Oh, no. <laughs> not, on there. not like Sorry, us Kamala. is the anthem at this point. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Then we double down on Shawnee being on the list. Yeah, no. And by the way, <laughs> you're going to have to go through, you're going to have to go through the entire award show. And anytime they reference not like us, you got to see who's reacting to it too, Cass, because they're uh, all going. Yeah, right. Don't dance to it. No, you cannot if he dance to it. was a friend it. of Drake. It's over. No. Oh, Lord. All right. That's your flesh and light report.